Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're going to look at a way that we can remember the exact values of trigonometric functions um, using these magic triangles. So, what do I mean by magic triangles? Well, we have two triangles that will help us evaluate sine, cos and tan of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees without having to use a calculator. So the first magic triangle looks like this. It has 60 degrees in all the sides two on the uh, lengths and we cut it in half so we get 30 degrees at the top now two on the hypotenuse one on the bottom and it's therefore going to be root three on the height so how can i use this to work out sine cos and tan of 60 and 30. well to start off with let's do sine uh, which is opposite over hypotenuse so from the 30 degrees here it's one over the hypotenuse two so that's one over two so from this magic triangle here, I can get sine of 30, which is 1 over 2. I can get any sine, cos or tan of 30 or 60 degrees from this. So uh, 60 degrees, we start with the 60 degrees in the bottom left. Opposite this time is going to be root 3, and divide that by the hypotenuse and get root 3 over 2. For cos, this is going to be uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be for 30, root 3 over hypotenuse, which is 2. So adjacent over hypotenuse root 3 over 2. And for cos, the new adjacent is the 1 down here, so it's going to be 1 over 2. So notice how that's swapped around for the sine and the cos. For tan, it's going to be opposite over adjacent. So for the 30 degrees here, it's going to be opposite, which is 1 over adjacent, which is root 3. So that's 1 over root 3, which we can simplify to root 3 over 3 by rationalising the denominator. And for tan of 60, it is uh, opposite over adjacent. So it's uh, we swap around the opposite and the adjacent now. So it's root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. So this is our first magic triangle. The second magic triangle is a isosceles right angle triangle. 45 degrees in two of the corners, 90 degrees in the other one. One on each of the sides and therefore root 2 on the hypotenuse. So from this I can get sine, cos and tan of 45, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 1 over root 2, or root 2 over 2 if we simplify, if we rationalise the denominator. For cos, taking this 45 degree angle here, it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is uh, 1 over root 2. And for tan, it's going to be opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over 1, which equals 1. Okay, so just a short video there to show you how you can find uh, the sine, cos and tan values of 30, 45 and 60. Thanks very much for watching.